And I think now we're, we're, oh, okay, there, there he is. Arno, we're gonna make way yes. for Granite Shaka joining us. I don't know what he's, he's telling him. We'll find out. Okay, Arno, stay with us. Granite, Bundesliga champion. Congratulations, how does it feel? Wow, um, it's difficult to, to find the right words. I'm very emotional. I've been here uh, four years um, in Magic Gladbach, seven years I was away and uh, to come back after my first season, it's unbelievable. Um, football is so nice because you see the, the emotion from the fans, the emotion from the players and um, great season, great game today, not the first half but the second and we, we just want to celebrate and to enjoy. Granit, I saw you before you or after you scored the goal. First of all, it was an excellent goal, it's your second goal of the season. But after that, before you got off the field, you had an argument with someone, I don't know who it was, and Xavi Alonso needed to, to calm you down a little bit. What was that about, or do you not remember? No, I can't remember. I mean, um, I think we, we saw from the beginning that uh, the team was um, playing with a lot of emotions. Um, mistake where we didn't do um, the last couple of games, but I think it's normal because if you are so close and you can take something and you can write the history of what we did, it's normal that you play with emotions, but um, yeah, I don't know what happened exactly, but um, yeah, five minutes today against a good opponent, I think, um, is something more than special. When it comes to your personal story, you spoke to us about how the experience last season formed you and drove you on. How does it feel having had that, having lived through that, what must have been mental pain for you, to now go on and become a champion the following season with Leverkusen? I mean, when you start to kick in the ball the first time in a young age, you dream for titles, you dream for moments like this. And um, this is a hard work, what we put day by day with the teammates, with the club, with the family support, with, with everyone who is included in, uh, in this part of, uh, of the team, in the football. And um, to take this now, um, after uh, 31 years for me, um, after how many years? I started with 17, means 14 years football career. To take something like this um, is, is very, very special, but even more for this football club because they never took it. And um, we are on the way, it's unbelievable. It's not just this one, but after this, we want more and we will do everything that we can uh, take the other ones as well. And your coach, Xabi Alonso, you've worked with him for nearly a season now. What would you say his greatest strength is? At the moment, you can say everything. Uh, he's a young coach who, who is improving day by day, even with us, but. Um, the personality uh, he has, the, the words, the ideas uh, behind the behind this team is unbelievable, and you can see the, uh, day by day, but as well game by game, how how much effort we are putting on the pitch, and um, we have a good balance, uh, young players, experienced player, and with him included, makes a good team. Granite, thank you very much thank for your you time. Much. Thank you. Okay. That is a lot of sweat. Granite Xhaka has on him there. Okay, <laughs> we'll throw it back to you for now. We'll have more shortly. It's great to hear from Granit Xhaka. Just a few weeks ago, he was telling Archie as well how no, they weren't going to get carried away because he'd been there with Arsenal sure. where you know that it's close and you don't want to start celebrating a title before you've won it. Obviously, Arsenal didn't in the end. But today, Bayer Leverkusen did. But in terms of Granit Xhaka, that's Xabi Alonso's marshal out there mm. on the pitch. Very much like Xabi Alonso played that role, say, right. for Mourinho during his Madrid days. The man who's on the pitch, who's not letting his players get right. carried away, who's really making sure he is that... Outfield captain. I think we've seen that over the last couple of years, uh, last couple weeks, months, where he's been the person that's kind of reined in the the younger players, but in a good way. He's he, he's been able to find that balance between between have fun, enjoy the moment, but also remember there's a job to do and there's a time to celebrate and there's a time to do the job. And he's he's been that I think such a key piece. For Javi Alonso to be able to have his personality on the pitch and big, big bonus and a big reason why Leverkusen have been so successful. Yeah.